I have no idea. The, I mean, I feel like I'm pretty good at most things. Nate's really, really good at everything he does. It's kind of annoying. It's cool that I get to be in bands with him, though, so I reap the benefits often. I should have tried co-parenting with him. Mmm. Uh, maybe Harriet Wheeler, the singer of The Sundays, just because I like her voice and her words and her inflections. Actually, probably my cousin Nate. So, <laughs> done and done. I hope so. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm actually probably, yeah. Like, if I ever get diagnosed with anything uh, terminal, I'll definitely make that happen, yeah. Uh, he would definitely name it. That's why he's bag. You know, I bet we would. I'm trying to think like a step ahead of the step ahead we try to do. I think he would probably end up playing drums because I think more interesting stuff would come from that. We'd probably just try to play all the instruments we both couldn't play well. So I would probably play keyboard or something and bass, and he would play like drums and guitar. I don't know what it would be called. Oh, you get different answers for everybody you ask, probably. I'm trying to think. Hey, Oscar. Come here. Oh. Here's one. I'm trying to think who, like, I would be stoked. This would be a lot of bands. Maybe if, like, Make Believe got back together and, like, they do a Make Believe American football. Split seven inch. The Smiths. I don't know. Nate loved it in a way. Like, Nate, <laughs> Nate's, Nate's into dressing up, I think. So he loved it. I was in no mood that day, I was having a bad day, but the best part of our day was definitely being in full golf gear. It's kind of awesome, it's like just wearing a mask, like, you know what I mean, like, it just, it was cool, it's like, the only thing people saw was in golf gear, so like, maybe they, you know, I was, I was generally in a bad mood, but like, it didn't matter, I could have been and done whatever I want. The boots were like super comfortable, I had like these super like tall boots, so I, I gained a few inches, that was great, that was fun. I think it's Lou Melodies. Sometimes I'll think it's something else, but every time I go back to Lou's, I get excited. It might go, uh, nah, I was gonna say it just goes in descending order from there, like backwards. Uh, no Good For No One Now. I feel like it was the first time I ever tried to write songs, actually. So I'm kind of, that might have been a stepping stone. Um, whereas before it was sort of me like either noodling or like learning, the first album is me learning this uh, Pro Tools, so. I feel like we've been doing this American football thing for a couple years. We've done a lot of interviews and people seem, I, to me they miss like the most interesting part is like how we live our regular life and do what we do. Like people are always like, what's it like being on stage, you know, and not doing that? And that keeps coming up. And it's weird, it's, you know, every time it's weird. It's, uh, Appreciate it, cool. But like the hard part sort of is going back to like taking your kids to school and like grocery shopping and like doing laundry and stuff after like sort of like, especially <clears throat> any prolonged touring where like, you know, you kind of get used to being taken care of in some in some sense and then you come home and you're like, oh my God, I gotta take care of everybody else. Um, so I think that would be like more interesting. Strangers tell you every night that, you know, how, how much they like your music and it's, you know, you're kind of like pumped up and your ego is big and stuff. And then you have to come back to reality and uh, nobody's pumping you up really. <laughs> um, everybody's the greatest guy. Well, it's really it's like a bunch of really nice, thoughtful guys. Um, in a way, I think maybe most bands aren't because we're all sort of older. And like I said, like, we all have kids, so we're all like, used to taking care of other people. So everybody's willing to give up you know, the middle seat in any situation. Everybody's willing to give up the best bed or like the private room in any Airbnb. Everybody's willing to like, uh, literally like if the toilets overflow, everybody's kind of helping out. <laughs> it's not like nobody's shirking each or, uh, you know, like uh, chores or anything. So it's cool. We all respect each other. I think in that way, like sort of as like good people. I'm sort of into the old school stuff, obviously. Any Aloha or Ryan and Maria. I used to love a Mates of State record. I like uh, currently the Deerhoof albums I like a lot. <laughs> That's tough. 
I don't know who won, I know who lost. Steve Holmes had to shoot this one layup scene about a hundred times. And so like, it was like beating in the sun. Like after a show, I think we had a show that night, so he lost that day for sure. Um, Cause he was, yeah, he like hurt his legs and his arms and his head or something, just shooting layups so many times in a row. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think of that. <laughs> I've seen memes, you know, I, I, I generally understand what that means, but I don't really think of it. Like I said, I'm doing laundry and dishes most of the time. Uh, about every hour. Yeah, there's, <laughs> yes, there, there are cantaloupes stacked. Like it's, yeah, there's, we'll never deplete his supply of cantaloupes, yeah. Oh, um, I don't know, most of them are reuniting. <laughs> like, there was a point in my life when, you know, I didn't think I'd see Misfits or at least all these bands, and now I keep crossing them off my list. Uh, I'm excited for that Jawbreaker show at Riot Fest. There's a band I used to love called Eight Bark, like a local band. That'd be cool. Shudder to Think would be cool. All the, a bunch of old school bands, yeah. Everything. Mostly how just everybody's polite. Um, like literally everybody except all the other Australian tourists. Uh, I've got like a tramp stamp circle <laughs> that was like, inspired by the Smith song. Uh, if you'd like to marry me, if you'd like you can buy the ring. So I got like a ring right above my ass. I think I was 17. Voices. And my ask. Since she was like legitimized or something, so I go Taylor Swift. <laughs>